No! <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be artsy. Excuse the loud noise. I have the window open for Cleo. <laughs> I also have that little fan on because... of that so i just had my lemon water um i showered this morning and put laundry in um and now i'm gonna drink this hydro flask and have my iced coffee and then i'm gonna make some breakfast i just blow dried my hair and it was literally excruciating because it's already so hot up here <laughs> so yeah i wanted to have avocado toast that's like my little treat that i have on the weekends because i actually have time to make it and eat it at home but the last avocado I had was like really gross and I don't have any avocado and it's a little problem. I'll get over it. <laughs> it's nice and cool right here, huh? I'm sorry you have so much hair. It's a little bit later now. Um, I think I'm going to make some... Uh, I think I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I look very pale. I feel like all of these have kind of been the same. Like my last few vlogs are like all on Saturday and also I'm playing Animal Crossing and doing laundry, but like we're in quarantine. So like what else would be the move? Okay, I'm changing things up today. I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl and I'll show like my current favorite recipe and then I think later on I'm going to do like some healthy baking depending on how hot it is in here. <laughs> um, or I have another recipe that I can do that's like a no-bake recipe. So, that's how we're going to change things up. I also need to like put these away and deal with this and deal with this, but like I don't want to. Oh my god. Hi. What was that? Crazy. I think Cleo's going stir crazy. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna grab my blender. This is my blender. It's just a ninja. Um, but it works super well. It also suctions to the table and it's really loud. Okay, let's see if I can do this without overfilling this. <laughs> this doesn't really work. Hi. Right. You see what I'm doing? Let me get a breakfast. I'm like really surprised she lets me hold her like that. <laughs> okay, so for the base of the smoothie, I have frozen spinach, and then I have this stasher bag, which has like like I had a few pieces of everything left in their original bag so I just put them in this big one that I usually just keep bananas in um so this smoothie is going to be spinach banana mango pineapple I also forgot the most important part is coconut water um I haven't been going to Trader Joe's because the line's been crazy because of this whole like pandemic thing so this is literally the only one that I can find at the grocery store down the street um, Target's been sold out of coconut water. So I just do some, like, uh, on the bottom. Like that. Oh my god, you can see my crazy cat in the background. So like, there's my chunk of banana. I don't know, it's like a third of a banana. gonna need some more pineapple I think usually yeah that's perfect so like half of one of these um, makes one smoothie so this is like two smoothies this is the protein that I use um, it's just the raw organic protein from Garden of Life I was gonna call it like Sun Life or something but that's not what it's called um, I only really buy vanilla because if I make like a chocolate smoothie, I just add cocoa powder. So like why would I buy chocolate protein when I can just do both with this? Um, another good one is the 
vanilla pea protein from Trader Joe's. That one's really good. And it's also like $13 for the whole container. It's like this size, I'm not kidding. Okay. So I just do like a scoop essentially, but like a little bit less. If you have greens powder, that would be great to add into this, but I just ran out. All right. So <laughs> this is my little spirulina jar. It's like empty, so I'm just gonna add the rest of this. That's kind of upsetting. I've been thinking about doing um, Thrive Market. Oh wait, I didn't add collagen. <gasps> Normally, I use the Vital Proteins collagen, but I've been trying to like, I don't know, try more plant-based things. Not that I don't already, but like, that was just one thing that was an animal product that I didn't really think about. So, I've been trying this Amazing Grass um, collagen booster. And you're supposed to add like a teaspoon, like, I don't know, that looks like a teaspoon. I'm not a scientist. Okay, alright, now we can blend this. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I've been thinking about trying Thrive Market. I've done it before, but I did it when I lived at my parents' house. I didn't really need that much stuff, obviously, because I lived at my parents' house, but it was good for snacks and like body products, body products, beauty products. All right, I'm gonna blend this quick. So like I was saying, I was trying, trying, I was thinking of trying Thrive Market, but like, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually cheaper for me to do it. Like certain things like beans and spices and like staples like that I was looking and they're cheaper at Trader Joe's. But like also I can't go to Trader Joe's right now. But like also if I did it I would want to do like the year um, membership because it's only like $5 a month as opposed to 10 So I mean that's not that crazy but like for a year. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you do Thrive Market. I know like a ton of people have been sponsored by it right now because quarantine's a thing. But I genuinely like liked it. I think I just stopped it because I didn't need to buy so much stuff living with my parents and also being one human being. But now that I like have an apartment, I buy like cleaning supplies and like oils and like baking stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth it or not. I feel like for the snacks, yes, definitely. But like everything else, I don't know. But like also I eat a lot of snacks. There's a lot of stuff going on. This looks so bomb. It looks like ice cream. Like the pineapple. I swear is like the game changer in this. Okay, so for my toppings, oh, I actually have some blueberries I need to eat. I want to put blueberries on this too. Um, I have peanut butter. This is just one from Target. Um, it's actually, this wasn't that expensive and it's like an organic peanut butter and the literal, let's see, ingredient is dry roasted organic peanuts. I really like this granola. It has really clean ingredients and it's not that expensive. I was gonna buy the um, Purely Elizabeth one, but it's literally like six dollars and I'm like, listen, um, this is just some coconut flakes, cacao nibs. I have everything like, I mean, that's kind of a mess, but like, this is all pretty much like organized. It kind of looks like disorganized right now. Um, I have some jars I need to go through and fix, but yeah, I don't know. This is like my favorite thing ever about my apartment. Not really, but like one of them, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Okay. I'm going to come back when this has toppings on it and looks prettier. <laughs> Okay, this looks bomb. I mean, it's not like that pretty. <laughs> I didn't put blueberries on it because I was like, there's enough fruit going on for one situation. And I don't know, it looks like I have a ton of granola on there. I swear I don't. I measure my granola. It's literally the only thing about my entire life that I will measure out because I will go ham on granola. It's not even funny. Oh, jeez, as I slam that. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this. I have some laundry to do. I'm currently crossing. Cleo. Rude. Just tipped over the napkin holder. She's mad because I closed the windows because it was loud. I swear every time I eat, she has to eat. She like knows. I'm like, Cleo, let's go eat dinner and she'll like go eat while I eat. It's really weird. Bizarre cat. She also pulls all the food out of the bowl and will eat it over in the corner. So I had to get her that mat because she's making a mess. I just straightened my hair. This is literally the longest it's ever been in my entire life. That doesn't really do it any justice. <laughs> I just finished making up the bed with this new quilt that I got. Um, oh, I left my spray over there. <laughs> 
Um, that's like some weird thing my mom used to do. I mean, I guess it's not weird. It kind of makes sense. But every time you make the bed, just like spray it quick with disinfectant spray. Um, this one I've had since the pandemic started. So I've been able to get it. So I'm on like my last leg with that. Um, but yeah. So that print is like an old one from my grandmother's house. And so is that one actually. Um, oh my gosh, it's really windy. Let's see if I can get the water. It's really choppy today. But yeah, so I just got like this thin cotton quilt from Target. Um, it's from their Threshold brand. If you're looking for like a breathable just something because um, I have down comforters, but they're a little too hot, especially where we live like on the water. The sun rises literally right out there. So this fleece blanket is um, Calvin Klein and it's just from Marshalls. And so are these two pillows. This little one is from Target. This is like the worst decision I ever made because it's like stained from my self tanner. Um, but I just kind of put it there because I feel like it brings a little bit of like balance and like makes the bed look more mature with all the pillows. This one is just like a body pillow and a cover from Target, I'm pretty sure, or Walmart, either one. Um, I don't know if I already said that was from Target. This is from Target. <laughs> this chest is, um, my uncle actually made this for me when I was little. No, we're not going outside. Um, lamps are from Target. Clock is from Target. You can't really see it. It's just like a plain square clock. But, um, yeah, that's the little summer bed makeover. We used to have a gray comforter on it. Oh, we're, I'm sorry. No. No. And she just wants to go outside and she like snuck through the cat door of the landlord's apartment and tried to fight their cat. Or rather the cat probably beat her up because she's teeny. But anyways, that's why she wants to go outside. Yeah, I know you want to make friends. I don't think she wants to be friends with you because you rolled up on her crib. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so anyways, that's the bed. Oh my God. Cleo, no. Get down. Get down later it's kind of yucky out too oh my god this is what she does she's so weird i like should probably stop her from doing this but she literally just hangs on this curtain and look she like looks out the window how bizarre oh my god so i'm just having a little snack i say that it's like three pieces of bread <laughs> Um, but this English muffin is so small. It's the Dave's Killer Bread one and like if I have one it doesn't hold me over so I threw in a little piece, like it's literally a small piece, of uh, my mom's homemade sourdough bread that I had and we don't have any avocado as was previously touched on so I just did butter, a little bit of wild honey, and then some cinnamon. So I mean I guess it's lunch but like I don't know I'll probably have a salad or something around two. So this is what we're eating. My head's cut off. Okay, I think that's as good as we're getting. I literally bought a tripod so that I could make cooking videos <laughs> at this counter. Now I'm sweating. Okay, so today, as you can see, I have a bountiful amount of apples. I have somebody who gives them to me, so I just always have a ton of apples. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick um like apple pieser but like a healthy version mm -hmm. i literally made this up kind of by accident but what you're gonna need is apples obviously um the three main like ingredients that you should have are oats cinnamon and brown sugar this is brown sugar too but it's just dark brown sugar because it's all they had at the store and i wanted to use um the regular one that i had first i'm also gonna add in some hemp protein i bought this and i don't love it so i just use it and make goods i don't really think that you're supposed to use it in like smoothies i mean you can but it's not that good it's better if you just bake it um and then in this bowl i just have ugh, some flaxseed that i just ground up i don't think flaxseed tastes like anything and it's really good for you so we're gonna throw that in there um so i'm just gonna start and cut up all these apples um, I don't know if I'm going to have to use all of them. I'm going to fill this, I don't know what kind of pan this is, a pie pan, but I've made this in like little like, I don't know, ramekins like this big for myself and it takes like, I don't know, 30 minutes. So it's really quick and easy. So I'm going to 
chop all these up and then I will come back. Okay, and so I cut up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples. The way that I cut them up, I mean like there's no wrong way to, but I try and cut them in slices that are like, I don't know, pretty thin so that they cook better. So what we're gonna do, I hope that you can't hear the cars too much in the background. Um, I'm just gonna take some oats and line the bottom. So I do like, I don't know, enough oats to cover the bottom, just sprinkled, um, brown sugar and then cinnamon. It's pretty easy, but I'll do it and show you. Okay, so this is like the bottom little crust situation we have going on. And next you're just gonna like line it with apples. I like to do like a circle going outward if that makes any sense like start in the middle and do like the swirl so that it cooks all pretty um and then you're gonna do layers again you can do this like on a lot smaller of a scale so this one's obviously gonna take me longer um because i'm doing it for more people this is more of like a oh hey remember apples you can cook them video <laughs> then it really is a recipe um but yeah so i'm just gonna do this then i'll come back i just did the first layer i don't want to like tip it too much but i started on the outside actually so i lied start on the outside don't start in the middle um and it just kind of makes like this pretty little situation um use like different sizes of apple slices to like fill in the holes that's my tip so i mean i'm just gonna like put some more of everything on top Cinnamon is like the key. Some flax. Yes, I'm using my hands, it's fine. I wash them. You should aim to eat a little bit of flaxseed, like a tablespoon of it every day, I'm not kidding. Okay, my oven is preheated, so I kinda have to do this fast. So, okay, second layer. first time making this on this um scale Ooh, it's so pretty and it's not even cooked yet okay um last layer all four of these things again on top okay <laughs> we're done i like how i just keep walking over here to show you because my camera like isn't set up the best way it could be whatever um this is what it looks like so i'm just gonna stick this in the oven on 350 for like 20 minutes and then i'm gonna check it because like i said i've never done one this size so i don't really know how long it's gonna take but like i don't know use your eyes set a timer for 20 minutes your timer is set for 20 minutes okay now we clean up okay so that was great timing i literally just finished cleaning all of the dishes putting them away reloading the dishwasher I still have to wipe down this counter that I just used, um, but I'm gonna check on this. So it's been 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're getting wilty. They need a little longer. Okay, so I'm gonna give that about 10 more minutes. Um, I like that I set the timer for 20 minutes and then I just cleaned the whole kitchen. I think I was watching, well, no, I know I was watching uh, Claudia Saluski's vlog, well, one of them. And she had mentioned that she'll set a timer for like 20 minutes because 20 minutes is like less than 30 minutes, but like still enough time to get something done. And then she'll see how much she can clean in that 20 minutes. And I literally finished rinsing like the last spoon right when the timer went off. So that was perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait on that a little bit longer. I need some water, I'm so thirsty. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is so good, I'm not kidding. Like I don't even, I didn't, well, I went through like this phase where I didn't like apples and like cooked apples like were never my thing. But um, like this is so good, I'm not kidding. And it's like decently clean. I mean, I put a 
decent amount of brown sugar I kind of like dropped some right there <laughs> but like overall this is such a healthy and clean dessert it's not even fair so I ended up keeping oh let me just turn the oven off That'd be helpful um, I ended up keeping it in for 40 minutes. I think it just needed that because of how big it was. But yeah, that's the uh, finished result. Ooh. It actually has cooled down a lot, so... I was just about to say it, it has actually cooled down a lot so much. So I think I'm going to end this video here. I just kind of wanted to get in my, like, two recipes and try and, like, I don't know, do something different with my life for once in quarantine. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you try out one of these recipes, let me know. Um, yes, and that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.